It's an event that combines food, music, art, and culture. The Southside Arts and Music Festival begins later on today in Bethlehem. Alexandra Hogan is at the Banana Factory breaking down the activities and lineup. Alexandra, good morning. Good morning, Eve and Hasiel. That's right, all of this kicking off today. I'm joined by Stacy Brennan, who's talking us through all of the events. So, so much going on right here in downtown Bethlehem. Yeah, there's a lot going on today and tomorrow. We have lots of opportunities for people to come experiment, try something new, listen to new music, and see lots of art. So we're here at the Banana Factory, all of this on the south side, but this isn't the only place that you can come see these performances. Where will people be able to go? Sure. All throughout the South Side Arts District, we have multiple venues with art and music, so people can check out merchant shops and hear music and see lots of things, yeah. Uh, I know the one thing when we're talking festivals, parking is sometimes an issue, so what what should we tell people who are all coming in at the same time today and tomorrow? We're lucky to have two public parking garages right behind us at Riverport and also on the new street, uh, new parking garage that's there. We also have the website. Is that the best place for people to find information about when these events are? Absolutely. We have everything listed on our website at bananafactory.org or artsquest.org. This is the sixth year for the festival and the third year in its name. What are the new things that people are going to see this year? We have multiple art installations, one at the Steel Stack Center and also at the banana factory here. We have um, different artists each year coming to demonstrate their work, new artists and vendors, and lots of new musicians. Yeah, musicians, speaking of, we have Michael Reisman who's here joining us. Michael, you were telling us that your style, it's hard to describe, it's Americana. You're a singer songwriter. Uh, yeah, it's whatever strikes me. I've been influenced by lots of artists and writers over the years, and uh, I've lived in a bunch of different places, and so, um, you know, whatever strikes the singer songwriter, you know, is whatever is you, you get what you get so where will you be performing this weekend here at the festival I'll be at uh, Revel Social tonight at 530 uh, to 730 um, it's a social lounge um, uh, gastro pub right okay well take it away we're excited to hear your stuff thank you <clears throat> come to the town where the brazen are spoken fill up your glass at the barrel of beast listen to the singer So we just heard a musical performance. Again, there will be performances around the South Side and here at the Banana Factory. A lot of hands-on activities, some free and some that you can pay for. All things that we're learning this morning. Good morning, Hillary. Good morning. How are you? Great. How are you doing? Very good. Tell us about this cool activity that people can try and bring home with them. Absolutely. So first we have our Star Wars terrarium because it's going to be on May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Very fitting. Yep. So you will be able to pick out your figurine. These will be unpainted. Teaching artists will walk you through how to paint them while they dry you'll assemble your you know beautiful terrarium for their little habitat well let's build it ourselves so okay. first you're saying we pour the rocks in what do we do next I would put in these are the succulents so place your succulents with you know leaving some space for the the characters to live in of course we can pay tribute to this one we know that the actor who played Chewbacca Peter Mayhew passed yes. away last night we don't have a Chewbacca but no. we do have a little Yoda that we can yes, put in there we do. Yes, we do. Uh, so this is the only event that people can actually pay for all the other hands-on activities are free outside absolutely yeah we have a lot of things going on both tonight at First Friday as well as tomorrow during uh, the the outdoor portion of Southside Arts and Music Festival, including button making. You can, you know, draw your own or use one of our, our guides, make your own button. 
Tonight we're going to have paint along with Bob Ross. I think this is a really fun sounding event. So tell us about our this. Natu our, our national hero for the moment, <laughs> I think. Uh, you're going to be able to, if you care to, put on a Bob Ross wig, channel him, watch and paint along with him. And then one of our teaching artists named Katie Hovenkamp is going to be helping people learn how to paint. So many events. We have all of that listed. We've posted your website where you can see all of the different events, again, throughout the South Side. So many events. Why do this for so many people in the community? especially with free events like this? I think that people need the opportunity to learn about art and to kind of demystify art. Art is fun. Art is stress relief. Um, it doesn't need to be something scary that you, you think is for the other, the other people. Yeah. And a fun weekend activity, great way to meet more people in your community. We'll have much more throughout the morning on the Southside Art and Music Festival starting today. Eve Hosdiel, back to you. You come to the Bethlehem Southside Arts and Music Festival. So now we're doing flame throw or not flame throwing. Flame work. We don't want to do that. Flame working. This is Dan. Dan, we've been with you many times and doing some of these activities. What are we making this morning? Uh, this morning we're going to do a really quick, fun little piece. It's going to be a little cloud on a stick. So I have some uh, a big chunk of white here on the end, and then you're going to blow it up for me, and we're going to make kind of a cloud shape with it. Okay, walk me through. Should I do that now? How long should I blow for? Uh, not quite. Uh, we're going to get a little bit more heat into this. And then I'm going to hold it up, and then you have your little blow hose there. You can uh, start blowing on it. So I'll let you know in about a couple seconds here. All right. So you can start blowing. There you got it. Nice. Stop. Awesome. All right. So we have our little cloud, and I'll put a little tail on here. You can blow a little more. Your cloud slash marshmallow on a stick. Perfect. It's what I've always wanted. I've always been wanting You're my glass cloud on a stick. Uh, <laughs> so this is something people could try out for themselves. Of course, there's activities throughout the weekend. There's actually a full lineup already sold out tonight, but there's some slots that people can come to tomorrow. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So you can make uh, one of these succulents here on the table tomorrow. I think there's still a few, few slots left after 1 o'clock, so yes. definitely so come check it out. 120 and 2 It's $50. Why should people come here and try this skill? It's really an amazing activity. Activity, um, you know, really brings out your creativity, and it's uh, a lot of fun, very exciting as well. And a great thing to keep uh, at home, whether that's on your mantle or it's a good gift, something that you made with your own two hands. So all of this happening this weekend starting today. There's also the festival running tomorrow. A great way to get out into the community, try new things. Of course, live music throughout the South Side. We'll have all this information on our website. Back to you. Good morning. We stepped outside. We want to show you this beautiful mural that you see behind me. This is at Cafe The Lodge. This is the programming director, Ian. Tell us why you decided to have this painted on your cafe. Well, we've been looking to have a mural done on this wall for several years now. It's just such a great space, and we really want to bring a lot of attention to our program. We work with adults with mental illness and job placement at our cafe, where it's a fully functioning business. And something like this really kind of captures what we do here in terms of recovery and support for the people that we have. In May is Mental Health Awareness yeah. Month, so a great time for this. It's a beautiful mural. This is all part of the uh, enjoyment of the Southside Arts and Music Festival is having more art in yes, the city. Yes, absolutely. We also have the honor of having the artist here all the way from Germany. This is Pau. Good morning. Thanks Hi, so much for joining morning. us. Thank you. Tell us about the inspiration for um, this. So what came to mind as you're painting it? You're not finished. Yeah, I'm definitely not finished. Um, um, the title of the mural is Calma. Um, it's a Spanish word for calm. And in the Spanish word is also Alma in it and Alma is soul. So I really like the combination of both, like a soul with a C. So, um, yeah, I talked to Stacy from Banana Factory and with Ian from The Lodge to find like an image that represents what they're trying to work here, or what they're trying to, to do. And um, yeah, she is kind of a representation of calm and peace and mind, mindfulness and lots of flowers because they have a mindfulness garden. So I was thinking of doing something with that. And one of my projects is Project Wallflowers. So it really fits. Really does. So tell us about some of the artwork and murals you've had around the world. Um, usually I try to use my work um, with a purpose or with a cause to, to like reflect on things that happen behind these walls. Um, and that's why I created Project Wallflowers, to be able to connect 
like artivism, art and activism with good organizations that are trying to beautify areas and to do something good in this world. Yeah. Well, Paul, thank you so much. So if you do see this mural, keep in mind it's all about mindfulness and realizing that this month is Mental Health Awareness Month. So when you see this, just a way to touch base with that. Again, the Southside Arts and Music Festival starts today through Saturday. We'll have more information online for all of this for you to see. Eve Hossiel, back to you.